Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, today we're looking at Psalm 119, which is the longest chapter in the Bible. It has 176 verses. So let's read it. Uh, just kidding, okay? You can hopefully read it on your own. It may take you a couple days to do that, but um, uh, it is a great psalm, and, and here's why. It's no secret that I love the Bible. I, I just love Scripture. I mean, I, I teach the Bible. I preach the Bible. I encourage you to read the Bible, to study the Bible, to memorize Scripture, uh, because the single most significant influence in my life spiritually has been the Word of God. It has changed me as a person. It's changed the trajectory of my life. Uh, it's helped me in what I do as a, as a minister of the gospel. But even more importantly, it's helped me be a person that can represent Jesus anywhere I am and whatever I'm doing. So Psalm 119 is all about how incredible and powerful and wonderful is the Word of God. So uh, just listen to a few of the verses in uh, uh, the beginning part of the psalm, verses 9 through 16. How can a man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the rules of your mouth. In the way of your testimonies I delight as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Now, that's just a sample. Uh, it's actually one section because there's 22 sections of Psalm 119, each one beginning with a letter from, of the Hebrew alphabet. In fact, if you have a Bible like I do out of the pews here at Calvary, out of the chairs here at Calvary, you can see it there. Each one's labeled uh, the letter that, it, it, that it's built on. Now, why is that? Why do they use all the letters of the Hebrew alphabet? I don't know all the reasons, but the clearest is because every single word should point us to the Word of God. Every single word we say, every single word we use, every single word we think, every single word we write should reflect the truth of God's Word because the truth will guide us to blessing and life. Here's just a sampling out of some of the Psalms in Psalm 119. Uh, verse 11, memorize the word of God to avoid sin. Verse 30, uh, faithfulness is based in the word of God and, and adhering to the word of God. Verse uh, 54, sing God's word. I, I love worshiping, but I love it when the songs resonate with the word of God, when they use lines and words and concepts out of scripture. Uh, verse 72, value God's word more than you value anything else, more than riches or gold or fame or fortune, value God's word. Verse 81, the word of God is the source of our salvation. It teaches us who Jesus is and how we can come to faith in him. Psalm 105, God's word guides us. It's a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. It will keep you from stumbling and falling and it will get you where you want to go. In Psalm 165, God's word gives us peace. When you read it, when you devour it, when you study it, when you follow it, your life is going to be a life of peace. So uh, I want you to read scripture because I know if you read and apply the word of God, God will change your life. You may have heard me say that once or twice before. Uh, but here's what I, I would challenge you to do. Read Psalm 119, find your verse, and live it out. God bless and have a great day, Calvary.